What do you do if you don't even think you deserve to have feelings? I'm Kathy Vertulli from TheIntimacyDojo.com and I'm here with the amazing Rick Wilkes from ThrivingNow.com. And Rick, you've helped me so much over the years and I've seen you help so many people deal with emotions and just be present with them. It's, it's, a, it's a gift. And um, last night I was talking with someone about some of the feelings that I was having. You know, we always have layers. It's human. And we're like, we think we're done and there's a whole other layer. So we find new stuff. And I realized there's a whole bunch of stuff that I still feel like I don't deserve to feel. Like I don't have deserved to have feelings. And you and I have been talking a lot about disappointment and how to process it better because it really does hold us back so much from life. Yet if we don't feel like we have the right, if we have to justify feeling our feelings and expressing them, it really leaves them pushed down and tamped down and buried. So if I don't feel like I get to and I feel it, I might feel shame, I might blame myself, or and or I might be spending a lot of energy to hide it, to, to pretend it's not there because I was taught or learned that I shouldn't have these feelings. Um, and I think that can get in the way of a lot of things. Like if we don't even realize that's there, it's kind of that plastic, the Tupperware, where you can see through it, but you're like, there's stuff there, but I can't seem to get to it because you have this layer of... Can't even smell it. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> I think it's there. Tap, tap, tap. I think um, there's something, something there for me, maybe. Yeah. So I, no, I want to... Go, go ahead. ahead. So uh, one of the first things that, that comes to mind is that, you know, parenting is hard, even in the best of times. And some parents are better at that than others. Yeah. Um, and I know, for example, that there were certain emotions that my mom had no problem with, my dad had no problem with, and other emotions that were really like suppressed. So you mentioned disappointment. So let's say that you know you really wanted to do something and you were excited. Was excitement something that was allowed? Uh, in moderation. Too much was okay. not okay. So, all right. So so. So now we have part of the landscape was like, we can be excited, but not really excited. So you're, you're at the appropriate level of excited about something, and they say no. How free were you to, to show disappointment? No, not a, that was not allowed. Like, I think because they felt, they may have felt, I think they were often, like most parents, my parents were pretty depleted a lot of the time. You know, there were three kids, there were you know, a lot going on and humans get tired. So if someone's disappointed, you might feel guilty or shame. I'm just, you know, guessing, but it's a lot easier if they if someone doesn't have feel disappointment, then you have no like there's nothing to trigger all the stuff that's coming up. Yeah, and that's a that's a really nice um, frame of reference. Um, there's also parenting that just doesn't want to deal with other people's stuff and they find a shortcut that you can look a certain way, you can punish, you can isolate, you can do a lot of things and suddenly your child is adapting. Mm -hmm. And I know you, you want to accommodate other people's feelings, you want to accommodate other people's needs. I, Me too, love you, love all of us who yeah. are that type of person by nature. And, but here's the problem disappointment in kids is rampant. I mean, when you really look at it, they're disappointed that the blocks fell over yeah. and you see it. They're like, Oh, well, to that, and they're dis like I can get back in that. Like I'm feeling so proud of myself that I'm building these blocks and I'm feeling empowered and I'm getting something and then they fall over. I'm like, ah, I'm not good at like, there's all this stuff going on. Well, so you jumped it. You went to frustration about not being good enough which is a nice, you, you use words for it, thank you. But that's, that's one of the reactions that happen if we don't get to feel the pure disappointment. Yeah. Pure disappointment is a letdown. It's a way of like, oh, it's an instant grieving that things didn't work out. Yeah. And in kids and in adults, that's a big deal. Yeah. Like if, if something happens that disappoints us, there's, there's a recalibration electrically in our nervous system, biochemically yeah. in our endocrine system. There's a lot happening. Yeah. There's a lot happening. And when we suppress those natural reactions, it goes into things like, I must not be good enough, or I, I must be doing something wrong here. And, the, and that gets us to suppress, suppress, 
suppress, suppress. And that goes to that emotional eating. It goes to other behaviors. It goes to avoidance. It goes to a lot of things, doesn't it? Yeah, it really does. So if you're watching this right now, we'd love to do some tapping with you. And we invite you to come on this journey with us. Even if you think you don't have any blocks, if you had asked me yesterday morning if I thought I was blocking any feelings, I would say, no, I think I'm, I'm pretty, you know, I'm working through some, but I think I've got access to them all. And someone asked the right question in the right way. And I was like, oh, I don't have the right to feel this. So I encourage you kind of just try it on. The wonderful thing about tapping is it's not going to create anything that's not true. It will just give you clarity on what is true. So if even if you feel like the words aren't true, try them on. See how they feel in your body. So Rick, would you lead some tapping on this? Sure. So first take a breath and come a little more into your body. Maybe see if gravity is working. Shuffle in the chair. Feel your and body. We start at, yeah. We start at the side of the hand, the karate chop point. Even though they didn't like some of my emotions. Even though they did not like some of my emotions. As natural as all those emotions are. As natural as all those emotions are. Some of them they did not like. Some of them they did not like. And I picked up on that. I picked up on that. <laughs> and I started to suppress. And I started to suppress. And I started to avoid. And I started to avoid. And other things, too. And other things, too. I really want to feel all my emotions. I really want to feel all my emotions. Maybe, just maybe. And maybe, just maybe. I'm strong enough to do that now. I'm strong enough to do that now. Top of the head. They did not like my anger. They did not like my anger. Eyebrow. No disappointment allowed. No disappointment allowed. Side of the eye. Was I allowed to look hurt? Was I allowed to look hurt? The eye. Was I allowed to be angry? Was I allowed to be angry? Was, what would happen if I was disappointed? What would happen if I was disappointed? Chin. What would happen now if I was disappointed? What would happen now if I was disappointed? Hold on. How do people react to that? How do people react to that? How do I react to that? How do I react to that? Top of it. I'm in the process of exploring this more deeply. I'm in the process of exploring this more deeply. Uh, and I accept who I am and where I am. And I accept who I am and where I am. Right now. Right now. So notice what you're feeling in your body. That was beautiful, Rick. Do you mind if I lead a tapping on, like, I, I think it's really, that was really powerful. And I'm noticing there's an edge where I feel like I don't deserve to get to feel emotions. Like yeah. more, like there was definitely feedback from the outside, but there was also an internal judgment. Absolutely. Um, Please and, do. Yeah. And I think when we feel shame, we're kind of bottling it down. So if you're, if you're here with us still and you want to, you want to explore this, give yourself, be gentle with yourself. These are deep and heavy emotions there. They can, it can be challenging to do this, but the gift on the other side is amazing freedom. So just, if you can be with your body, take a nice slow, deep breath. Feel your feet on the floor. Notice your butt and your feet are supported by the by the earth. You're not having to do anything. Karate chop. Even though I don't have the right to feel my emotions. Even though I don't have the right to feel my emotions. I'm not good enough. I'm not good enough. I've done bad things. I've done bad things. I can't justify having these emotions. I can't justify having these emotions. Especially the intense ones. Especially the intense ones. Especially the, the heavy ones. Especially the heavy ones and the scary ones. I better tuck them all away. I better tuck them all away. But they kind of squirt out sideways when I do that. But they kind of squirt out sideways when I do that. And they're really heavy and hard on my body. And they are so heavy and hard on my body. What if I could give myself permission to feel some of them? What if I could give myself permission to feel some of them? And gently process them and acknowledge them. And gently process and acknowledge them. So I can have more freedom. So I can have more freedom. Top of the head. It'd be nice to be present with people in the now. It would nice to be nice to be present with people in the now. 
eyebrow, not spending a lot of energy suppressing old feelings. Not spending so much energy suppressing old feelings. Side of the eye, but part of me feels like I'm not justified in feeling them. But part of me feels like I'm not justified in feeling them. Under the eye, who am I to feel these emotions? Who am I to feel these emotions? Under the nose, what if I gave myself permission? Ooh, what if I gave myself permission? Chin, just for a bit of them for right now. Just for a bit right now. Collarbone, what if I just felt them anyway? What if I just felt them anyway? Under the arm, what if I joined the human race? What if I joined the human race? Top of the head, and actually allowed myself to feel my emotions. And actually allowed myself to feel my emotions. Nice deep breath. <sighs> And just notice what's coming up for you. You may want to jot down any thoughts like that time when I was three and I spilled grape juice on the carpet. Wow, I was such a bad person or they were so mad or we have stories. Little kids are trying to interpret the world without a lot of experience and without the prefrontal cortex being fully formed. So we make assumptions, often brilliant assumptions for what we know at the time. And then we often use that through the rest of our life as a rule we've coded in our head as we start looking at these old feelings and these old emotions we can recode that and suddenly have a lot more freedom and ease like well that never had to be a rule what if i went in and recoded that in my head and mm -hmm. uh, get a lot more freedom we hope this helps rick thanks so much for tapping along with this and thank you kathy yeah we appreciate your courage